Constantly on the run and in fear of being found out, they moved from house to house. But a neighbour realised Dorrit was Jewish and one day while her mother was at work, she was caught and put into a sorting house for concentration camps. She spent over two months there on her own. One lady there, I don't remember her name at night, when I was crying because I missed my mum, she would take, take me into her arms and she comforted me. And one day they took her as well because the soldiers used to come in and you, 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 and they went and they never came back. She never came back. With the help of a guard, Dorit escaped and was reunited with her mother. They fled to another city in Hungary, Pesh, not knowing that the Nazis had captured thousands of Jews there and they were soon arrested. While her mother was questioned, Dorit confronted her captors. I got up went to the desk, pointed at the photo frame. Are these your children? And he said, yes, they are my two daughters. They must be the same age as you are. Oh. And then I said to him, are you going to hurt my mummy? He said, scheiße. He went around, beckoned my mother out. She said, come here. And she says, not all of us Germans and nasty swines. And this is why I try to believe that there must be a little bit of good in people. And I like to believe that not every person who sent these people to the gas chamber enjoyed it. Having narrowly escaped death twice, Dorit's ordeal wasn't over. As a homeless refugee who'd had little food, when the war ended, nine-year-old Dorit weighed less than three stone. But it was singing that kept her going. When I was afraid and I was alone, hidden somewhere, I sang. And I, when I was hungry, I was invent and sing song. And all I ever wanted to do is really become a singer one day. Oh, yes. After the war, Dorit went on to study at the University of Munich, where she sang in jazz clubs. She was discovered by the North German Broadcasting Company and was signed to a record label. Suddenly, Germany couldn't get enough of her. Many of the young German um, Air Force had me as a pinup in their lockers, and everywhere was my picture. And I thought, my hand, do they know that I'm Jewish? It was a funny feeling, you know, but it was the day I became their pinup. And as their pin-up, Dorrit was invited to sing at a concert for the airmen and their families. I peeked through the curtains. The women had the most elegant evening dresses on, but the gentlemen had the uniforms on. I thought, I might, I, I'm not going to be able... Because suddenly, it was not an audience anymore. There were the German soldiers there. And as a finale, I said, now I'm going to choose a very special song for me, which is Havana Gila, which is a Hebrew song. They all got up and sang the song and clapped their hands. And I just had this amazing feeling of triumph. And when I sang, and I remember putting my arms up and thinking, I made it. You didn't manage to kill me. You killed all my family but you made me a star.